Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to look at how to open suspicious links that you've been sent, maybe from a friend that you don't trust, um, or your neighbour, and you just want to open it, you're curious to look at what the link does, but you don't want to open it on your personal device, which is completely understandable. So I recommend using this website called App Anyone. Disclaimer, I'm not associated or affiliated with this website at all, I've just used it in my personal career and think it's brilliant. Essentially the way the website works is it'll generate a virtual machine for you, um, completely isolated and separate from your device um, so they're taking all the risk really um, and then you'll be able to control it and investigate it and at the same time the website itself app anyone is also doing some analysis you know with connections out and it's sort of like Wireshark in the background so that'll see if it's like connecting to a c2 server or something else so when you get to the website url it's called app.any.run if you just type app any run if you just type app any run into Google, it should come up as the first URL. The link will be in the description. You will need to sign up. Now, if I open this in a private window, just to show you really quick what it will look like exactly for you, because I'm already signed in, you'll see a web, uh, the page like this. So essentially, it needs a business email. So that's the thing that usually stops people from registering, because they don't have their own company domain, or they don't work for a company that is allowing them to sign up with their email. So you can't just use at gmail.com, for example. The way around that is if you go to temp-mail.org and generate your own personal email, you can see I've done it here. So if I just zoom in for you. Essentially, it just generates a temporary email address that you can use and receive email from. Um, all you need to do is copy and paste that in. If it doesn't work, then just click delete and generate another one and try and keep trying again. If you are stuck, please leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to help you get an account on App Any Run. Now back to it. All you need to do next is once you've got your account, is submit the URL. So let's say your friend has submitted a URL like this and you don't trust it and you don't want to open it and even on like private browsing, anything like that. All you need to do is click submit URL copy the URL in here and then click run a public analysis. Now, this is really key and it's really important you understand this part. If I just close this out really quick and go to reports on the left, you'll see all the different reports by other people checking files and links. These are public, so you don't even need an account on App Any Run to view some of these, um, and I think most of them. So, for example, if someone's up uploaded monsters.zip and it says it's suspicious, so if I click on it, I'll be able to see that submission. I'll be able to generate a report for it, etc. So someone else has submitted this, but I'll be able to see everything included within the file. Now, just for a second, imagine this readme.txt file had personal data of someone in it. Everyone will be able to see it, um, you know, with this URL, this specific task link. So be very mindful of what you upload to this website because if it's got your data in it, inside the PDF, then I wouldn't recommend checking it through this website as a public submission. If you pay for App Anyone, you can get the private submissions, which are even better. Um, so I'd recommend only submitting URLs on this website as well as like PDF documents that have been sent to you and you, you know you've got no knowledge of in terms of you know, if you're dealing with a mortgage company and they're sending you a PDF and you don't trust it and it's got your data in it and you know it has because it's or you suspect it has because it's come from your mortgage broker or something, then I would itch on the side of caution um, with them sort of emails and links. Let's go back anyway and click new analysis. And then if we go to uh, type or copy URL, I'll just copy this URL that was sent to me by a friend. So I don't actually know what it is. I was just, uh, I asked them to just generate a short URL or something. And then if I click run a public analysis, it's gonna generate or spin up the virtual machine for me to control and be able to have a little investigation. So you can see this is the virtual machine here. Um, it's gonna open the short URL and let's have a look. Oh, there we go. So. I've been, I've been rickrolled. Um, so I know it's harmless. It's just a giphy.com and it's a gif, a direct link to a gif. Um, so there's not much else to check on this website. You can control the virtual machine. So as you can see, I've just clicked on that. I can open a new tab. I can do things on it. Now you only get like 30 seconds. You can add more time. I think the free version, you get up to five minutes. Uh, don't quote me on that though. I know this link now is safe. I haven't opened it on my personal device, so I'm just gonna click stop. 
and there we go it's stopped the virtual machine or the instance of it and now we can click on you know text reports so i can get a simple report of what was found you can see there's no malicious behavior no suspicious and some info now it's going to open ms edge because obviously that was the browser and that process tree is going to be massive because you know it's fetching cookies and ads you know from the ad network and things like that so the process tree here the behavior graph is going to be massive for a link um still worth having a look at you can see the screenshots and the video um of what actually opened so now i can see the link without actually opening it on my personal device so that saves a lot of hassle and keeps you secure when checking suspicious urls in the next video we'll look at files and the dangers of the public submissions and the alternative of what I'd suggest for files. So I'd err on the side of caution using this website for files, but we'll talk about that in the next video. So thanks for watching and I will see you all later.